Say hi, friends. Hey. You would go help us paint, wouldn't you? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey. Be gentle. I gotta go. I gotta go bye-byes. I gotta go bye-bye. You have fun with your mommy. Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. Hey. I love you. I love you. Bye. To hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know, man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to day three of redoing this mobile home double wide. This is my aunt and uncle's home. They've lived here for 11 years and they've never redid anything in their home. She's been saving for a long time to do things. She's been buying things up here and there and she has everything bought, every supply you would ever need in your life. She has and that has been super helpful. But today, I feel like a lot of this just came together. The last two days, we've worked hard and we've did a lot of little things that didn't really show so much. But today, I feel like it's really looking like a bathroom. So, I'm going to be doing their whole house. I'm going to be jumping to my brothers and my friends and some other family and doing projects here and there. And I just want to bring you all along. I think it's super fun to see other people's houses, see how they live, how it's laid out, what it looks like. It gives you ideas. It just kind of shows everybody how we live in East Tennessee here. We are nothing fancy if you're new. Nothing fancy at all. I'm just trying to make it through day-to-day -day life, trying to keep the kids alive and the dog fed, and that's about it. So stick around and see how this bathroom turns out. I found my way, I found my way I was in the dark against it all But made it through the day Cause I found my way, I found my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I found my way this morning the first thing I wanted to start on was getting this floor laid so he could bring the sink in here the vanity and get all of that down he took this week off of work he is almost 70 and still working every day but anyway he took this week off so I wanted him to be able to get the biggest things done I can finish the little things it's no big deal but some of the things that I'm not so sure of or that I would need help like his advice or me even helping him I wanted to get those big things done so 
I wanted to go ahead and get this floor laid and all that. When I say we've lived at this house the last three days, we have been here nonstop. It feels like we have ate breakfast, lunch, and supper here. They are so kind. Every few minutes, they're like, if you need a break, sit down, come eat. There's food and drinks in the refrigerator. Help yourself. Please take a break. Don't wear yourself out. I mean, they have just been the best. And they fed us three meals a day, pretty much. So... We have had the best time, though, just being together, spending time together, talking about old times and things that we've just kind of missed out on since we have went a while and not really seen each other, had anything to do with each other. So it feels really good to be back, spending time with them and all that. Let me say that life is short, and if you think that your relationship with someone is too broken for God to fix, you're wrong. Don't ever put a limit on what God can do or what relationship he can or cannot restore. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different when I got my things in place. Stuck in this commotion, how come I pass this yet? I wanna be the be somebody. When they bought this flooring, they thought it was actually the pill and stick flooring. And it's really not. There's no sticky stuff on the back. It's actually a floating floor. And instead of locking it into place like laminate flooring, it's got a sticky edge around the bottom and one side. 
So when you go to lock it into place, all you do is you stick it together on the edges and it keeps it in line. It keeps everything straight and the floor doesn't move. By the time you put two or three pieces down, it's heavy and it stays. So here I'm just marking where I need to cut around for the drain and the water lines and all that and it's super easy to cut super easy to work with i love it it looks so pretty and it's so easy to work with i've never seen this kind of flooring before i've used the pill and stick and i've actually helped lay just plain laminate flooring that locks together but i've never seen it like this and i love it it is so sticky around the edges that when you lay one piece on the other, it's almost impossible to pull it back up. So you don't have to worry about it coming up or any of that. But I think this flooring is really pretty, especially for the price. I try to change the things you never like. Try to make this better, make this right. But we're the same, even though I changed. Really made an effort, promise I would change. But something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but some things stay the same. Some things stay the same. Some things stay the same. I can change the way I am, the way I talk, the way I stand. It doesn't really matter, cause I'll still be the same. I can change the way I am. Effort, promise I would change. Some things stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be. toilet up and before we put the vanity back in here I laid the flooring that way the toilet could sit right on top of it and the vanity could sit on top of it and I didn't have to worry about cutting around things but when it came to this tub it's round it's kind of rounded so I was kind of worried about my cuts but that tub lifts up a little bit so what we did is we just got a screwdriver we kind of lifted that tub up a little bit and just slid it up under there so I don't have to worry about the cuts and then of course we cut around the vent so she did end up getting another faucet for her shower it's not the one that she wanted and loved but that's just what she wanted to do so that's what we put up and then he put the back on this wall this wall is where their plumbing is that goes up to their shower head the water lines all that so when he put that back up he put two pieces up of wood that he already had and he screwed that on that way if he needs into his water lines he can just screw it off and there it is so there was a crack there i wanted to go ahead and fix that up so that when i painted the crack wouldn't show where the wood joins and I told him if you ever need to get into it just pull it apart I can redo it then they brought the vanity in and it's just all starting to come together and it looks so pretty I think
What's up? What's she doing? So we got the vanity in. I need to put the hardware on it. We've got the water hooked up, the drain, no leaks, no drips. This countertop was, it fits perfect, but on this corner, there's a little bit of a gap, but we put some adhesive there, sat that heavy box right there on it just to hold it, but we did run a bead of, it said you can use silicone or anything, so we did liquid nail right through here, letting all that dry, but it is good and super pretty. But yeah, so we're fixing to hang a cabinet and then we're fixing to hang some shower doors. Heather and I, I think, are gonna go get some trim at some point and trim out these mirrors for her. I don't know if we should trim them out white or if we should trim them out a wood and stain it this color. So what do you guys think? Brown, the Java brown or white? Let me know. This wall, he screwed it on and it's in two pieces. So I've got some, um, whatever that's called there. I'll sand that down and smooth it. Paint that and that wall's a little, it's not real sturdy right there. So I'm thinking we're gonna put some decor there just so, you know, it's not pushed on and stuff. So it's looking like a bathroom. Run away with me, come home with me tonight. Run away with me, it be worth the time. Run away with So you already got your paint mix, that was quick. And then she got another one of these just for touch-ups. Where's that scented stuff? I just wanted you to see it. Yeah, like right here. Isn't that weird? You that add it is. to your paint. But look at that little touch-up roller. Ain't that cute? That and it's like a little tray. I was like, I'll just like that because it's cute. But I've never used the scented. I wonder if anybody else has, I'll ask. And on YouTube, surely somebody's used it before. But what if it, you didn't like the smell? You'd be stuck with it. Did and not spill my paint? Probably not. Okay. Hey, bro, don't you look at that. I said, my friend, what you looking at? She is something for me Excuse me, miss It's my first time here Maybe you could show While Jen was hanging this medicine cabinet We took a quick trip to Home Depot Just to get some ideas About how to trim the mirror out And all that And we really didn't come up with much But we did get some more paint Because she's loving this paint So she wanted more of that For her kitchen or living room Or just wherever she decides to put it But other than that We didn't really get a whole lot but I'm going to end today with reading out of my devotional. If you're new here, I do this at the very end. If you are a non-believer or you just don't really want to hear this, you can mute it or just click off. But I always do this at the end. I've always said I would never push my religion or any religion down anyone's throat. But I will always acknowledge how good God has been to me. But today, the devotional is Split Second Judgment. By the grace given to me, I say to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. Romans 12, 3. Have you ever felt like you were split second judged? You had an encounter, it didn't go as planned, and immediately you felt less than ideal. We desire grace for ourselves when we're having bad days. But it's so easy to forget to extend that same grace to others. Maybe we've done it for so long that we don't even realize we're doing it. Here's what we need to remember. We are all the same. We are all the children of the Most High God, precious, beautifully made in His image. We belong to Jesus. Let us ask God to give us hearts to see others for who they are, our siblings. And remember, they are nothing less than we are. Have you had a recent encounter where you felt like you were judged or you felt like you judged and you didn't extend grace? Reflect on people in your life and your heart towards them. Ask God to give you eyes to see them as he does. How sweet it would be to see everyone as God does. He loves us with an unconditional, pure, perfect love. 
As much as I love my own kids, I can't imagine his love for me because there's nothing I wouldn't do for my kids. I would lay my life down for them. And his love is so much more. I love my kids unconditionally, no matter their decisions. I may not always agree with them, but one thing's for sure, I'll always love them and I'll always be here for them. And his love is so much more than that for us. But just remember to show yourself grace. Show each other grace. I'm so glad you guys are here, and I'm hoping that you like these little daily vlogs of what I'm doing. I really didn't know how else to do it because it would be weeks before I could get a video completed if I waited until one job was done to do the final reveal. So I'm just bringing you guys along for my everyday journey on helping my aunt and uncle get this house looking brand new again. And I will still be doing cleanup videos and things like that. I showed you guys flash in the beginning I know there's been a few people ask about him so I wanted to show you him but I do need to do a grocery run we need to do a grocery haul we need to clean this house do some laundry there's so much here that needs to be done because I you know how it is when you're not home, your house just seems to get out of control and that's definitely where it is. So this weekend, I'm going to do a good clean and I'll throw that up for you guys. But I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful for your love and support and for your friendship. You guys seem to love me so unconditionally, no matter if I'm having a good day or a bad day or if it's a good video or if it's just not your thing, you still watch, you love me and support me and you'll never ever know what that means to me but I love you guys so much I hope you're enjoying these I know they're a little shorter than my usual videos but like I said it's just all I know to do but I love you guys so much please know that Jesus loves you so much no matter what there is nothing you can do to make him love you any less but I love you guys thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys tomorrow all the way.